Hello, 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 crypto traders, crypto enthusiasts, and crypto explorers. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you the detailed and clear strategy on how to use lower slippage tolerance when buying and selling token in PancakeSwap. Of course, you must have Binance Smart Chain balance because this is the only token or coin that can be used in PancakeSwap transactions, okay? I will be using Binance Peg Tether USDT or USD to purchase a token but you can also use Smart Chain BNB to purchase a token or BUSD to purchase your uh, desired token okay so but this time in this tutorial I just want to show on how to use lower slippage tolerance okay so uh, let's click DAPS and let's go to PancakeSwap okay make sure that you're in the right uh, website, pancakeswap.finance. And of course, we need to get the contract address from CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko uh, for us to search or add the token here in PancakeSwap. Okay, let's go to CoinMarketCap. For example, I will be buying Australian uh, safe, uh, Shepherd or AS token. I will find the token. Australian uh, safe shepherd or as token okay so this is not a financial advice to buy this token it's just an example just do your own research and trade at your own risk okay so we will find the Binance Smart Chain contract address this one copy and let's go back to my trust wallet we need to click this button to find the AS token. So just paste the contract address here. Okay, then click add. Okay, then click the token. Okay, by the way, I will be using version 1 because according to my research, the price in version 1 is cheaper than version 2. So. Uh, guys, if you are going to buy uh, a token that you want to buy, first you need to do your own research which one is cheaper, uh, version 1 or version 2. So I search version 1, so it's up to you. Uh, any token that you want to buy, just uh, do your own research and find out which one is cheaper. But in us token, I found out that uh, version 1 is cheaper. Okay, so I will be choosing uh, version 1, this one. Okay, it says here that PancakeSwap version 1 is no longer supported, but what we need to do is click this button, then click continue to version 1 anyway. Okay, then uh, click this button to find the AS token, and uh, click uh, search or paste the contract address here. Okay, then uh, click add. Then click the token. Then select currency that we want to use to buy as token. Click this button. Then uh, we will be using USDT. Click USDT. So you can use BUSD or Binance Smart Chain uh, coin. But I will be using USDT because uh, I want to grow this ET US dollar. Okay. So click max. So as you can see, this is the total token that I'm going to receive if I buy worth $88. Okay, so let's try to swap. But first, we need to uh, select uh, slippage tolerance. Click this button. Okay, then choose 0.01. Then click X button. Then uh, click swap. Confirm swap. So as you can see, the transaction cannot succeed due to error. So most of the 
traders or the users of PancakeSwap encounter this problem. Okay, so let's find another uh, slippage tolerance percentage. Click this button, then let's uh, try uh, 1%. Okay, then click swap. Accept. Confirm swap. So another error. Okay, then uh, let's uh, check if 5% can uh, be used. 5%. not working error again then we will try now a higher slippage 10% okay it's a higher slippage guys 10% let's try confirm swap also it's error again we will try another higher slippage, make it 11, then go back to swap button, click swap, accept, confirm swap, another error, let's try a uh, 12%. Then uh, let's go back again. Confirm swap. So as you can see, a uh, twelve percent slippage tolerance is available for this uh, transaction. But this time, I'm going to show you the tricks or the strategy on how to use lower slippage tolerance. Okay, let's go back. Click this button because we will not be using higher slippage tolerance. Okay, what we need to do is uh, click slippage tolerance then make it 1% then let's go back then we will try swap confirm swap okay, so it says error so what we need to do is to uh, make whole number Let's try to change uh, this uh, number to zero, number seven to zero, then this one, four, make it zero. Okay, this one also, make it zero. And uh, this one, make it uh, four. Okay, make it zero. Okay, so or make it two. Just uh, try and try to find the available balance that can be used to swap for a lower slippage tolerance. Okay, let's try 325. Click swap. Confirm swap. Okay, so you see. Uh, that amount is available for lower slippage tolerance so let's uh, click approve okay transaction is submitted uh, just find a whole number that can be used for lower slippage tolerance okay just adjust the amount of token that you want to receive instead of adjusting the slippage tolerance for you to get a lower slippage tolerance. So as you can see, I already purchased as token using lower slippage tolerance. Okay, so take note, just adjust the amount of token that you want to receive instead of adjusting the slippage tolerance from lower to higher. Okay, 
So don't do that. Just adjust the amount of the token that you want to receive instead of adjusting the Ashley page tolerance. So as you can see, the as token is already in my trust wallet. If you cannot see the token that you already purchased, just click this button. Okay, then uh, search the token here, the name. And if you cannot find the name, uh, get the contract address of that token and paste it here. Once you paste it here, the token will be showing here and just click uh, the add button. And okay, so that's it guys. If you are new to my uh, channel, click subscribe. Click notification bell for you to get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you and have a good day.